Hello everyone. So here in this problem, we have to evaluate limit x tends to root 2, x raised to 4 minus 4 whole upon x square plus 3 root 2 x minus 8. Now before finding the solution, let's observe the given question. So here in the question, we have algebraic term and whenever we have algebraic function, we always start with direct method. So here, first of all, I'll consider this given limit as L. So L equals to limit x tends to root 2, x raised to 4 minus 4 upon x square plus 3 root 2 x minus 8. And here, I'll apply direct method. So by direct method, we will get L as root 2 raised to 4 minus 4 upon root 2 the whole square plus 3 root 2 into root 2 minus 8. Now let's find out the value of root 2 raised to 4. Now root 2 raised to 4 is nothing but root 2 4 times. So this root 2 into root 2 is 2 and this root 2 into root 2 is 2 so it will give us 4 so in the numerator we will get 4 minus 4 upon root 2 square is 2 3 into root 2 into root 2 is 2 so 2 into 3 is plus 6 minus 8 so it is giving us 0 upon 0 so whenever we get 0 upon 0 by direct method we say direct method fails so I will say here direct method fails and whenever direct method fails that time we have to look for some other method to find out the value of the given limit. Now to understand some other method I will rewrite the given limit as L equal to limit x tends to root 2 x raised to 4 minus 4 upon x square plus 3 root 2 x minus 8. Now in the numerator we have x raised to 4 minus 4 for which we can find out the factors by considering this x raised to 4 as x square the whole square and by considering this 4 as 2 the whole square. So we can apply the formula a square minus b square. Now similarly if we will observe the denominator then in denominator we have minus 8 and we have quadratic equation. So we will try to find out the factors of this quadratic equation and if we will get the factors for this quadratic equation then we will cancel those factors with the factors in the numerator and we can get the answer. So for minus 8, we want two factors for which the multiplication is minus 8 and the addition is plus 3 root 2. Now we can consider the first factor as 4 root 2 and the other factor as minus root 2. So if we multiply these two terms that is 4 root 2, 4 root 2 with this minus root 2 then we will get this will become root 2 into root 2 2 into 4 and minus n as it is it means we will get minus 8 so multiplication is minus 8 let's see the addition if we'll add 4 root 2 with minus root 2 we'll get 3 root 2 it means this 2 are the factors of minus 8. So hence we are getting factors for denominator as well as factors for numerator. Hence here we will use method of factorization. So therefore by method of factorization we will get L as limit x tends to 2, 
x square the whole square minus 2 the whole square whole upon x plus 4 root 2 and x minus root 2. So I am just copying down these two factors in the denominator and this term in the numerator. So now in the numerator we can apply one formula and that formula is a square minus b square which is nothing but a plus b into a minus b. So by using this formula we will get limit x tends to root 2 here it is root 2 x square plus b that is plus 2 and a minus b that is x square minus 2 upon x plus 4 root 2 and x minus root 2. Now if we will observe the numerator and denominator still there is no common factor which we can cancel. But if we will observe the second term in the numerator then here again we can apply this formula. So I will rewrite this term as L equals to limit x tends to root 2 x square plus 2 and this is nothing but x square minus root 2 the whole square upon x plus 4 root 2 and x minus root 2. Now here if we will apply this formula then we will get x square plus 2 as it is and this will become x plus root 2 and x minus root 2. Similarly the denominator is as it is that is x plus 4 root 2 and x minus root 2. Now if we will observe numerator and denominator then definitely we can cancel x minus root 2 from there and for the remaining terms we can apply the direct method. So therefore by direct method we will get this term will become root to the whole square so that is 2 plus 2 this term will become root 2 plus root 2 and this term will become root 2 plus 4 root 2. Now 2 plus 2 is 4 root 2 plus root 2 is 2 root 2 root 2 plus 4 root 2 is 5 root 2 so that we can cancel root 2 and root 2 from numerator as well as from denominator and this 4 into 2 is 8 upon 5. Hence the value of the given limit is 8 upon 5. Thank you.